The sun is shining and there is not a tent in sight here on the red carpet, but the shade was in full effect at the 44th annual Daytime Emmy Awards. I'm only half kidding. What's the shadiest thing y'all have said to you? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies of The View debate daily and throw shade constantly, but the Emmy-nominated cast has also learned to keep their personal feelings out of it. It's more of the expression sometimes. Yeah, Every now and yeah. then we'll have some lips pursed and some eye shade. I mean, Whoopi thrown. has checked us both because, oh, yeah. you know, what we have learned from Whoopi, I think, is that it's never personal. So yeah. we don't really get as shady with each other anymore. Yeah, every now and then, though, there's a little shade that comes out. <laughs> And a little shady is exactly what Gladys Knight was serving up when talking about her friends Aretha Franklin and Dionne Warwick. The legendary singer was on hand to present at the daytime Emmys. My first one. And weighed in on the comical Aretha versus Warwick beef. I've been knowing both of those girls forever and a day. I know my sister Dionne, it ain't nothing to her. Okay. It ain't nothing. Now, Ree is a, <laughs> is a little bit different. It's just one of those things, you know, everybody got their little knickknacks going on. Dion's going to speak her mind, and she's going to tell the truth. Rhea's going to be sensitive and cause a whole lot of riffraff. <laughs> and although the ladies of The Real were on hand to celebrate their fourth Emmy nomination, they too are no strangers to riffraff. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Former co-host Tamar Braxton made it known that she would be appearing at the award show whether folks liked it or not. Luckily, it seems everyone was on board for the potentially awkward reunion. Actually, the studio bought her a ticket and she's invited to come. She's a nominee. There's no reason for her not to come. Again, it goes back to having peace. I think that, you know, we're, we're excited for the show. I think we're proud of the show that we created and I think that that's what it's about. All bets are off once we win. So, like, hey girl, how you doing? How you doing? We won. We got a heavy. You know? So, win or lose, it's all, it's all a win for everybody. Every Everybody should be recognized. And a few others were recognized, shade free of course, at the 44th annual show, including Steve Harvey, who won for Outstanding Informative Talk Show Host and Outstanding Game Show Host. Outstanding Entertainment News Program went to Entertainment Tonight, hosted by Nancy O'Dell and Hip Hollywood head honcho, Kevin Frazier. And iconic former ET host, Mary Hart, received the Lifetime Achievement Award. She's the world, she's the beginning, she's the end, she's the essence of everything. That's a wrap here at the Daytime Emmys, but don't worry, you can get your daily dose of shade at hiphollywood.com. I'm Vanessa Barnett.